Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Or if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Travel Snacks. And just welcome to Friday evening. I'm Allison. This is Travel Snacks. And Travel Snacks is all about traveling, getting out of the house, seeing everything that's out in the world, eating good food, snacking, and maybe living an alternative lifestyle, whether you live in a car, a van, a truck, a tiny home, a pop-up tent, whatever. Or you're just sitting at home and you just like to watch YouTube videos about people living in cars and vans. That's okay, too. We are all here to support it. And it's awesome. So, uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out this. Um... I'm not seeing all the comments. Ah! Oh boy. Um, all I can see right now is two comments. So if that's all there is, maybe that's all there is. But I see Grant that said, Happy Snack Chat Friday Snack Pack. And uh, Robbie that said, 10 likes already. That means people are setting their clocks. Um, and that's all I see. I also don't see anything. Hmm. Let me take a screenshot of that. So I could send that to Ay, ay, ay. Um, hold on a second. Uh, let me see this. Okay, Grant's telling me there's a dozen comments, and I'm seeing literally two comments. Well, this sucks. Okay, hold on. I'm currently live chatting with the people at StreamYard right now because I can only see two comments. And I don't know, I can't see how many people are on right now. I can't see how long we've been on the live stream. So this is annoying. What destination are you not able to see? Okay. Well, this is a fat bummer. I don't know what you guys are saying. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll open the live stream on my um, phone and turn down the volume. And that way I can at least see what's going on. Okay, let me get my glasses. Thank you all for uh, hanging in there with me. I'm gonna just keep typing with this guy as I'm on live. Okay, so, okay. Uh, hello, Brenda and Thomas from Northern New York State, Jay Baby, Lala's Lemon, Susan from Missouri, I'm here visiting my daughter and grandkids. Oh, that's cool. Um, Tammy from Georgia and Candy and Ron, Kenneth, Chloe. Um, yes, thank you, Grant and Robbie for holding it down. Um, oh yeah, I got a bunch of hoop earrings. That's like my favorite. 
Uh, are you currently live in Kansas City Comments at the destination today or not? Yes. Okay. Um, hey, Butterfly Tracks is in the house. <laughs> I didn't block everybody, I promise. Uh, hey, Judy. Thank you so much, Candy. I appreciate that. Hey, Reverend RV, I see you on here on the, uh, I have my, my live stream going on the phone. Um, hey, uh, HDJ KSA 52 and Robert from Oklahoma. Where's my chicken romper room mirror? Yes, exactly. Um, hey, Bill from Vermont. Vermont is beautiful. Hey, Daya. Oh, Riverside, California. I mean, it's, it's, it's hot in here. I had my, um, my Max Air fan going, but it was, it's so windy. You guys, every time I start a live stream, I feel like the wind just wants to join in. It like literally is so windy every time I'm on a live stream. Uh, do you have a link to the YouTube stream? I don't know. Where is it? Sorry, you guys. I know this is, must be super annoying. Um, I'm trying to chat with the person at StreamYard while I'm on the live stream so that I can actually have a productive live stream with you guys because this is weird. I mean, this never happened before. Um, hey, Lynn from Australia. Awesome. And Waylon, how are you? How are you? Um, all right. So, okay. Um, if you haven't already, throw a like on this, even though we're having a little technical difficulty. But uh, let's see, it would be on the right side, a place called comments. Let's see. Nope, that's not. It would be on the right side in a place called comments. What? What, 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 what? Okay, I hope we're still connected. Uh, I just refreshed the screen. So if somebody could type in the chat, if you guys can now, well, you guys could always see and hear me. But let me know if we're connected now and you can see and hear me. Because I'm now seeing all the, I literally just refreshed, which I thought would shut the whole stream down. Um, so let me know. Oh my goodness. Hey, escape artist from Nebraska. I love Nebraska. Hey, Anthony, Northwest Minnesota. Hey, Adriana, many roads, no rules is literally parked right next door to me. <laughs> I can see you over there. <laughs> uh, hey, Lynn. Uh, all right, so I think it, I think we're okay. I think we're good. I don't know. Okay, everybody's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good, good, good. Now I can actually see you guys' comments. I could see how long we've been on, and I could see how many people are here. So welcome again. <laughs> For you guys, it was going great. For me, I was stressing out. Um, all right, so welcome, everybody. All right, again, if you haven't already... Throw a like on it. If you're brand new and you're just like brand new to this whole travel snack situation, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have your notifications on. And I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. It's going to be very, very important that you put your notification bell on for the travel snacks. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Lala's Lemon, how do you know that she has, Adriana has new sheets? Because she does. Um, Yes. If you guys see a little blue wrench next to somebody's name, it's going to be Grant and AGTWNC. Those are the two moderators who are awesome. They're uh, two guys that have just been part of the Travel Snacks channel for quite a while. 
and are holding it down in the comments. So if there's any questions that I miss, I'm sure that they can answer it. Um, if there's any questions that you have in regards to my email address or any of the things, any questions, then you can ask them. And also if there's anybody in here that's thinking about acting a fool, I wouldn't do it. Because especially Robbie, he's quick on the on the trigger finger to ban somebody real quick. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So they are doing a great job and um, yeah. Lynn says, my van is getting fitted out right now. Then I will start traveling Australia. Ooh, that's so exciting. What type of van did you get? Uh, hey, Jake, I'm here. Just farted in Longhorn again. All right. All right. I was having like such bad farting episodes for the past few days. Last night was the first night I was just like calm. And today, now I just burped. And, and, and today has been fine. But it was a doozy for a minute. I don't know. I think I must have been having too much dairy for a while. I don't know what was happening. But ever since I made that fart video, my body's like, oh, it's okay. We should just start doing that. No, no, it's not okay. Hey, Vinny Van. Uh, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, TMI. <laughs> VW Transporter LWB. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what that looks like. But that sounds pretty awesome. Um, Robbie says, I love the farting video. All right. So, um, okay. So this is what I have planned for today. I plan to talk for a little bit and then I plan to take you guys outside to show you where I'm at, because as you see that of the title of this live stream is this is the life. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes, but I want to walk around with you outside, but it's like super windy. So let's all say a collective prayer that in the next like 20 minutes as I'm talking that this wind dies down so that I can, you know, walk around and show you where I'm at. Um, hold on. Um, oh, long wheelbase. Oh, that's cool. That's a lot of extra, extra room in there. Um, oh, Kenneth. Awesome. That was a cool video to make um, for the the long walk up the hill. Uh, and it was really fun and, and the editing was a lot quicker. So I'm going to start doing more of those where you guys can see the scenery. Um, hey, DJS. Lucadia. I love that. I used to live in Carlsbad and Lucadia is beautiful. And I would definitely live, like if I got a place, well, not now because it'd be too expensive, but I would definitely live back in that area because it was just so, so peaceful and relaxing and it's just a cool vibe over there. Um, hey, Rose, how are you? Uh, awesome, Brenda. Hey, Heather, how are you? Made the live chat. Uh, yes, I'm going to show you guys where I'm at. So I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm in a town called Cody, Wyoming. And this place is a hit. I'm not even like, this is so awesome. Um, so for those following along, I'm with my friend, Adriana. Uh, she lives in a minivan. If you aren't already, you should be following her channel, Many Roads, No Rules. And so we got together like a week and a half ago, I think. Uh, so we've been kind of like traveling together loosely. Um, you know, we kind of do our own thing, but we also, you know, like park next to each other a lot and just kind of hang out. And it's been so amazing just having somebody to bounce ideas off of and just talk to, have dinner with, have coffee. Uh, so we were in Thermopolis, which if you guys were on, I think the last live stream, um, I walked around the Thermopolis town area, the park and where they have the, the hot springs. Um, <clears throat> and then we drove over here to Cody, which was about roughly like an hour and a half away. Um, and this town is bigger. They do have a Walmart uh, and they have a few more fast foods and restaurants and stuff like that, but they have so many cool things here. They have a free, um, every night during the summer, they have a free gunfight, like Western thing in the street, in the little downtown, they block off the street and it's just like a 30 minute show. Uh, and they have like three, three or four museums, like the Heritage Museum. 
Uh, they have a really cute downtown area that looks kind of like westerny. Um, lots of cool little restaurants and shops. Uh, they have mini golf. They have these cool little like pods, which I'll make a video about because it's really cool. They it's like these these see through pods where you can go sit in there and eat your dinner. Um, and then they also have the Cody Rodeo, and I've never been to a rodeo, and I'm very excited about this. And I actually went to a thrift store and bought a cowboy hat because you gotta, I feel like you have to wear a cowboy hat to the rodeo. <clears throat> so I think we're going to be going to the rodeo, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. And the cool thing is it's only like $27 a ticket. And once you buy a ticket, you can use it any night, not every night, but I'm saying you don't have to select a date. You could just go whenever and they have plenty of seating and plenty of parking. So you can go. Um, and they do that, I think, th it's through, through from June to August. And they have a rodeo every night. And so I'm just very excited about going to the rodeo. Uh, and also they have some boondocking sites. You can park at the Walmart overnight there. Uh, it's just a great little town. And so where I'm parked now is just like this recreation area with a lake and a bike park where people can do jumps and stuff like that. <clears throat> You can actually fish and paddle boat and all, not paddle boat, stand up paddle board or whatever you want to call it. It's legit. Uh, so I'm having a nice time over here in Cody, Wyoming. Um, oh, thank you, Thomas, because I didn't know what the, he was talking about. I couldn't even see what what it was. Uh, oh, Susan, you've been there? Yes. You've been here? Yes. It's a really cool, it's a really cool town. <clears throat> hey, James, how are you? Um, I did visit, I've, oh, I have, I visited a lot of hot springs. I've only visited the one hot springs in Thermopolis, but it's on my list to visit more, especially as I go towards Idaho. Um, I know there's a lot of hot springs there as well. So that's on my list because I really love that. Um, so yeah, I do love a good hot spring. Uh, make sure to check out the Buffalo Bill Museum. Okay, I'll check that out. I know they have a few museums. I'm going to write it down. Um, Buffalo Bill Museum. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love traveling the back roads whenever possible. Yes, me too. I like the scenic route. Hey, Deb G's in the house. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Awesome. Watch out for cute cowboys. Oh, we are. <laughs> That's what one of the things we're like, we're going to the rodeo and we're going to see a bunch of cowboys. They, and when you go to the rodeo on the website, it says that you can actually sit on a live bull and the bull's name is Mongo. I don't know if it costs extra to sit on the bull. I would imagine it does, but I don't know the cost. So I'm going to see. I, I'm solid for a $5 bill. But after that, I'm like, I don't really need to sit on the bull i think what i'll have i'll do is have adriana just like film me as i walk by the bull and then i'll just pose next to the bull and that's going to be good enough because i don't want to like pay like 10 or 20 bucks to sit on a bull because who cares about you know that's just like whatever um oh water alarm yes i turned my phone down because i have, was trying to read the comments everybody stay hydrated especially as the summer months are coming. <clears throat> My throat is like phlegmy today. <clears throat> oh yeah, nudity is usually the norm at hot springs. Um yeah, some some hot springs they have the, you know, the nude variety there. Um and some are not. So I think before you go to any hot spring, you know, I want to read some of the reviews on the Googles or um yeah, pretty much Google. Or if that or if that hot spring has a website, it'll tell you if they have like nudity or nude sections, or even if it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think people just assume that it can be nude. So if you have small kids, you know, I don't know. Um, what is the daytime temperature here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because it's it's hot in my van right now. It's eighty three degrees. And the low is going to be 55. So it's fairly hot. A live cowboy. <laughs> Adriana says good luck with that. Thanks, Adriana. 
Um, Bill, my AC is working pretty well. I haven't used it today, um, but the, the zero breeze, um, I wonder, I should probably make an update video about that. I was going to wait till after the summer, but I think a lot of people are uh, considering buying it for the summer. So maybe I'll do an update video like in the next week or two, because uh, I've had a few people asking me specifically about the zero breeze, how it's been working, because it is a, it is quite expensive. Um, but for me, it's something I saved up for and it has been worth it because last summer I was melting and it was between like the top two things that's been like the terrible part of van life is loneliness and the heat. I can deal with the cold. I can bundle up. But those two things, if you're thinking about living in a vehicle or being on the road full time, the loneliness, try to connect with other people and the heat was has been like the worst. So I knew I had to have a solution more than just this. Wait, where's the camera? More than just this fan. This fan's awesome, P.S. This little eight inch fan that I got off of Amazon, it's a hit. It is a hit. This really works really well, but it only, you know, it kind of circulates the air. If you want something that's gonna like, let's see, you and I go to, but it comes with this long thing and you could just point this at you and it like, basically makes you cold not like cold cold but cold so you're not sweating and it's like whoa get, get in there and it's difference between night and day so if you are thinking about getting the zero breeze and you have saved up your money make sure to get it but also make sure to use my link too because i'm an affiliate for them and i'm not an affiliate in the sense of like they reached out to me to do any business with them. It's just, I signed up so that if anybody buys through my link that I get a little, little tiny commission, but I'm not the affiliate where they, where I feel obligated to um, like make videos for them or anything like that. So this is just my honest opinion of zero breeze air conditioning thingy. Um, I personally think that the price is a little too high for what it is because it's not like a full on AC, but you know, they have their own pricing. But yes, I, I do think it's been worth it. Okay. Helicopter tour, Robbie. When? Sandra's in the house. Do you guys remember Sandra from some of my videos when I was in San Diego? Sandra's Diamond Road. How you doing, Sandra? Hey, Fire. Uh, do you prefer iPad Pro or MacBook Air? I have both. So I barely ever use my iPad. The only time I use my iPad is for these live streams, but basically it's not something that I'm really interested in because I don't feel comfortable typing on the screen, like on the glass. I don't love it. Um, and it's just, I don't know. I, I just like to use my MacBook. In America, it seems easier to park overnight in car parks here in Australia. Not allowed. Winter here is called, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Martha says it's 99 and 77 low. Dang, it's getting up there. Oh, Kenneth, you have the zero breeze. Do you like it? Do you like it? Uh, it's going to be in the 90s with heat index over 100 in Ohio. Whew. I think it's going to be a hot, another hot summer. A helicopter tour of like 30 miles for 400 bucks. 30 miles is a pretty good distance. You know, so that sounds like a, a cool thing to do. I have that same fan and it's great. Oh, Bella, yes, I know. I. I just did like a search, like, I don't know, a couple years ago. Actually, I don't even think they sell this O-Polar anymore, but they have a different name, but I think it's the same exact one, just with a different name, but it's it's a hit with this little clip thing too. You could clip it up anywhere and it, pl it, it plugs in so you can recharge it. So it's awesome. I mean, it packs a good punch for how small it is. Um, oh, good, Kenneth. I'm glad you enjoy your zero breeze as well. Um, also, before you move on, you have to try the bison steak at the Cody Steakhouse. Okay, so Anthony, I haven't eaten meat for now. It's I, I stopped eating meat on May 1st. I wanted to see if I could stop eating meat for the whole month of May, and I did. And I felt like I'm just going to keep going with it. I am kind of tempted, though, because I am in, like, meat country, like, you know, it's like the wild, wild west over here, you know, and they have great like restaurants with steaks and stuff. 
So I might give in and do something, but I'll, you know, if I do, it's going to have to be, I want to get like the best one because I don't want to waste my mouth space with just the cheap, like dumb steak. So I'll keep that one in, in mind. The Cody Steakhouse and the Bison Steak. Cody Steak. Yeah, there's a few steak places and it's pretty awesome. And also next week, I'm go we're going to Yellowstone as well. My only helicopter ride was a med flight to trauma center after a rollover accident. Oh my gosh, Thomas, that's terrible. I'm glad you're okay. Hey, Kayla, how are you? Um, the small planes are safer than the helicopters if you have a choice. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, you have it too, Sandra? Yes, uh, I'm doing great, Kayla. Thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Okay, so let's get on with the topics today because I do want to take you outside. It's so windy, but keep praying. Okay, so the first things first. Um, this is something basic, and I wanted to mention it because me and Adriana went to go take showers yesterday, which we're going to talk. I'll talk about in a minute. But the shower place is over by the library, the public library, and she and um, we were just talking about you know going into the library to like use the Wi-Fi or whatever. And she was under the impression that you had to like show your ID or like, I don't know, that you just couldn't just walk up into just a public library and just just go in and use their facilities. And I said, no, like I've been to like so many public libraries around the US. So if anybody doesn't know that, I wanted to just pass on that information that if you're in any city or state, unless it's like a privately owned library, but if you're in anywhere that has a public library, even I think even most college libraries, but you'd have to probably pay for parking um, or have a parking pass. So maybe not college, let's just skip that part. But anyways, just type in, what I usually do is I'll go on my phone on Google and I'll type in public, li or I'll put, yeah, public library near me. And then there'll be like a bunch come up and you can just go in there. They don't ever ask you for anything. You just walk straight past the desk, go find a seat, turn on the Wi-Fi whatever you want you you won't be able to check out any books and take them with you you can read the books um and you can even um use like the little computers and stuff like that i think for the computers though you may have to show an id but if you just want to bring your own computer in and work i've been to many and just like opened my laptop jumped on their wi-fi and sat there all day and they have bathrooms and it's air conditioned so i just wanted to pass on that information if you didn't know Public libraries are a great way to escape the heat if you're in a vehicle and get some free Wi-Fi. Um, Brenda says, love bison meat first aided in South Dakota by Custer State Park. Oh, awesome. I've been to Custer State Park. It's awesome. Um, all right. Well, hopefully you have a better evening, Kayla. Um, Kenneth says, you're going to love Yellowstone. I'm excited for Yellowstone. Um, the kid, I am in uh, Wyoming. Hey, Gerald, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, Heather says, I always ask what their guest policy is because sometimes it includes checkout privileges. Oh, okay, so Heather's coming with all the information that I don't even know. Uh, or use of safety rooms to, or I'm sorry, study rooms. Uh, yes, that is actually true. Libraries have a bunch of things that you could do. I forgot even about all those other things. I have used study rooms before um, and there's a bunch of things that libraries offer, but Heather's right. You can um, check with the front desk if you do want to check something. I never do because I'm usually just there for like a couple of days, but that is a good point. But don't feel like scared to go talk to the people. The librarians are usually super knowledgeable and super nice, and they're usually accommodating. Um, but for sure, just, you know, libraries are an excellent place to get some work done. Um, hey, JJ SW. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Um, Kayla says, I love to read and I like to spend my time in a bookstore. Oh, yes, that's awesome. They usually give you a pass for computer use. Okay, yeah, a pass. I always bring my own computer, so I don't really know about those specific rules. Hey, Amos. Uh, the next no Noble Nomad live stream is Tuesday. So for those of you that don't know, I have a second channel with a couple other YouTubers. Uh, the second channel is called Noble Nomads. So if you're not already subscribed, go 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 do that. But uh, we just hit 500 subscribers on that channel. So I was like really excited about that. 
and we hit a thousand watch hours. So we're on we're on our just beginning journey of just trying to get monetized on the Noble Nomads channel. Uh, so it's kind of reminiscent of in the past when I was trying to get monetized on this channel. Uh, so it's it's kind of exciting to start over and you know see how it goes. So um, so what Amos is talking about is that we used to just we used to get together and record our conversation, our talk, and then we would upload it. But that would I, that would mean I would edit the whole thing and it would just take forever. So instead, we just decided to do live streams because it's easier. So we decided to start out doing them every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's on the Noble Nomads channel. Um, and we have a different topic about nomad things every week. And then we'll probably post some extra videos, you know, on various things as well. So, yeah, something you might want to check out if you're interested in stuff about being a nomad. But thank you for asking, Amos. Uh, Kayla says, there's a bookstore here in New York State that I absolutely love going to. Oh, awesome. Bookstores are magical. I love it. Um, oh, I, yeah, Rebecca Foley. Like, I'm in Cody, Wyoming, which is a fairly small place. And their gas, when I just drove by, I think it was like 480 something. I was like, calm down, Wyoming. We're in the middle of nowhere. And I think that's why, because, you, I mean, kind of in the middle of nowhere. You And... I think this is one of the last stops before you can get to Yellowstone. So they know that. And so they're maximizing on that. Uh, Grant says, bison burgers, yummy. Uh, Thomas says, the pri private university near me has a wonderful public two-store bookstore with lounge areas, Wi-Fi, and fireplaces. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, thank you, Kenneth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Okay. So I just wanted to mention that about public libraries. The second thing I want to talk about is steam rooms and showers so um hey deb r from ontario awesome so mm, there's no planet fitness here so i was like okay i guess i'm gonna have to do a van bath where i boil water in my kettle and then just mix it with some cooler water and just you know get a washcloth and like do the whole thing but the bummer is that I have long hair and thick hair. And so washing my hair is just like a whole situation and doing it in that little sink is not, I, I've never done it. And it's not ideal because I probably get water everywhere. It's not like I can't do it, but it's just a hassle, but I was prepared to do it. But then I was like, let me look around this area and see what they have. If they have public showers. And, uh, the only place I really found was the, um, the recreation center and they have an aquatic center within there. So on their website, it said $15 for day use. And so I was like, $15 for a shower? No thanks. So then I was just going to go on with my band bath. But at the very bottom, it said $4 if you come at the last two hours. So I was like, oh, so, okay. So what I did is I called and asked the lady, I was like, hey, so... I'm confused about the price here. And she says that if you only just wanted to take a shower and not use like the swimming pools or the workout facilities or whatever else they have, if you only want to take a shower, it's $5 and 50 cents at any time they're open. But if you come the last two hours of the day, which is between seven and 9 PM, it's $4 and you can use the steam room. Uh, that's a total bargain. So, I've been wanting to go into like a, a steam sauna for quite a while. And I really haven't been able to find one that's like inexpensive. And so I was like, okay, that sounds good. So we went there yesterday and the steam room was legit. It was very hot and really steamy and great. Um, so that was awesome. Uh, and then they had about like six shower stalls with curtains. So it just felt like Planet Fitness. And it was just really nice. And the, the guy at the desk was super nice. When I called, the lady was nice. So it was just like a great experience. And I just really loved it. It's, you know, I think if I'm gonna be here, I think I'm gonna be here for at least another week. So I'm sure I'll, you know, partake in that one or two more times. Um, so I guess my tip to you is if you're in a, sp a place that, if you have Planet Fitness or, whatever, anytime fitness or wherever you take your showers. <clears throat> if you do pay for showers, like with a, a gym 
and you come up on a place that doesn't have that, you can check with uh, if that town or city has an aquatic center or public swimming pool or whatever. Um, because like this area, I think there was a truck stop, but it wasn't like close by. And again, those are usually more expensive. But usually if there's a rec center or aquatic center, you know, they'll have some sort of shower situation. And it's always good to call because, and actually just say, I'm just looking for a shower because they might have a special deal. The other tip, which I've never tried, so I'm just, this is just saying, I don't know, um, is there are some campgrounds around here that do have showers and you could call and just ask if they have a thing where you could just pay for showers. I've heard from other people that that is possible, that you just pay like 10 bucks, go in. You can even fill up your water if they have water, you know, um, and then you can take a shower. So something I haven't tried, but it, it was on my list of things that if they didn't have an aquatic center, I was going to start calling some of these campgrounds because I don't mind doing a van bath, but I prefer to just wash my hair and just be done with it. Um, okay. So, um, let's see. Ah. Hold on a second. I got to scroll back. Oh, gas is 515 for Thomas. 460 in the mountains. And Grant told me earlier at 720. $7.20. That's gross. The kid says, are you ever afraid to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere? That would be my biggest fear. What would you do if if you did? And how is your mobile reception out in the middle of nowhere? Okay. So I typically don't go out in the middle of nowhere with my van. Um, I did go uh, like to a boondocking location, but I still had two bars on my phone. And if I'm in the middle of nowhere and I don't have any bars, I probably wouldn't stay there. I personally wouldn't feel comfortable having no connection unless I was with somebody else. And even then I don't know it. Or if that person had a some kind of reception. Um, so I usually don't put myself in that situation just because I think I would not feel comfortable with that. If I was in an area where I could use my phone, I would just call triple A. But words of the wise, if you're in an area, if you've gone down some path that is like a, a rocky road or a bumpy situation or muddy or whatever, and you've chosen to do that, triple A sometimes will not help you with that. Or if they do, they charge a lot. Um, I think Sandra was one of the people that said that that happened to her in Arizona, um, that she got in a, like a bad situation. And uh, I can't remember what happened, but definitely, I don't know. I don't really think people should put themselves in like super bad situations with their vehicles because it just, it could be a very costly mistake. So uh, I don't usually stay super far out. And so speaking of being afraid, I don't usually, I'm not usually fearful of that. Um, Cause I usually am kind of more cautious about where I am. Kayla says, when I was eight, I got an award for reading 120 books and chapters in one school year. That's, that's a lot of books. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting that. I appreciate that. Good to note, reading the $4 fine print. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Hold on a second. Uh, you are near Hot Springs, as you mentioned, if all else fails, yes. Um, hey Hope, how are you? Don't you have public saunas in the US? No, not that I'm aware of. Hey V, how are you? Um, you're welcome, the kid. Uh, we have public saunas in Europe, especially in former Soviet Union, like Estonia. We have saunas where there are private bathrooms. Oh, interesting. Just like free saunas? Just like you just pop in whenever you feel like it? We, I mean, there's places that have saunas, but you got to pay for it. And usually they're in like a day spa or like some gyms have them as well. At least that's my knowledge of saunas. Uh, yes, it was 50. Feet. Oh, so this is Sandra's story. Yes, it was 50 feet from a paved road. 
So they would not send anyone out. Oh, no, that sucks. That sucks. Because, you know, you pay for the AAA, but they're like, no, nah, we're not going to put ourselves in a weird situation. <laughs> um, uh, JJ says, dermatologist told me no hot showers because of my eczema. And you read about 250 books a year. Shoo, that's that's a lot. That's a, that's a real lot. That's an accomplishment. Um, so far, the uh, 489 in Fort Worth. Dang. Gas and diesel fuel are very expensive in Europe now due to the Russia, 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 Russia Ukrainian war. Yes. Um, 454 in Minnesota. Geesh, it's high everywhere. Like even places that I thought were going to be less, it's not really been less. All right, so that's my steam boom shower story. And the last thing I want to talk about, and then we're going to, let's see. It's pretty windy outside, but we're going to try it anyway, because I'm going to take you guys outside. Um, it's funeral potatoes. I don't know if you guys saw the picture I posted on the community tab. But first of all, do you guys know what funeral potatoes are? Give me a thumbs up if you already heard of funeral potatoes or know of funeral potatoes or have had funeral potatoes before. Um, this is the picture I posted. Oh. Funeral potatoes. So me and Adriana were in Thermopolis and we went to this little grocery store called Max Market. And I personally have heard of funeral potatoes before. I've I've heard about it. I knew it's like a casserole dish. So let me explain what it is. It's a it's a casserole casserole. Excuse me happening with the burps today uh it's a casserole that's like kind of like cheesy hash browns in a, in a sense like i think you mix it with like sour cream with like potatoes or hash browns and then like there's a bunch of cheese and it's just like a hit and so a lot of people um you know bring this comfort food to when you have the after thing after a funeral so it got the term funeral potatoes now what i didn't know is I looked online before this live stream because I was like, let me make sure I'm accurate because I can only go off of what I know funeral potatoes to be. But I didn't know that it's um, really like, I don't know if it started here, but it's really a bigger hit with like the Latter-day Saints, like the Mormon church. And I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, I just thought that it was like maybe something that's like in the Midwest. Uh, but I guess it's really big in Utah. And I guess it, I guess it was invented in Utah or the name. And they're also known as great potatoes or those potatoes. Um, so I'd say that they're more like a, almost like a, uh, like an au gratin type thing or like, I guess just cheesy hash browns. But I just thought what I thought was so funny and why I'm bringing this up today is because we were in that grocery store and I did not know that they made these packaged funeral potatoes like you could <clears throat> literally just like throw these in a casserole dish and just make them and it's family size i thought that was really funny made with 100 percent real potatoes so i knew it was a thing that people talk about and did but i didn't know that they had an actual packaged one i've never seen the packaged ones before and so when I walked by, I was like, funeral potatoes. And I think Adrian, Adrian was like, what is that? So uh, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And I'm seeing a lot of interesting things as I go through some grocery stores. You know, when you're in different areas, it's like, oh, I never even heard of that. Or I never knew what was happening with certain things. So that's pretty funny. But now cheesy potatoes sounds really good. Uh, Margus Kiss. Kiss Public saunas are not for not free. You have to pay some euros, bucks to visit them. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Like we, that's not like a huge thing. Um, if you have pimples, take hot shower and rinse off with cold water to close the skin pores. Interesting, Robbie. Um, okay, so you guys never heard of these funeral potatoes? Oh, V's heard of them. The North Park neighborhood in San Diego has bathhouses at one time. Yes, Lala's Lemon. I had been to one of those bathhouses before. Oh, Escape Artist has heard of uh, funeral potatoes. Funeral versus Chris Christmas dish. <laughs> uh, Thomas has heard of funeral potatoes. It's supposed to be something very easy to make. Yes. 
V says, I belong to cookie groups and someone lists the recipe all the time. Oh, interesting. Kenneth says, love comfort food and I was in the Mormon church. Okay, so had you heard of them before? Um, that does sound good right now, cheese, but it, although it's hot, so maybe not, but um, I only know the scratch recipe only. Oh, I bet that sounds delicious. That tastes delicious. When they start making funeral lady fingers, I'm going to go ahead and declare. <laughs> My God, that's funny. Easy to make. I could do that. Yes. Uh, kind of a gloomy name for the best food on earth, right? I know. Can you cook them in an air fryer? That, I don't know. Maybe you could. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cheesy, though. Like, I think you'd have to have, like, some kind of container to, or, like, a tin foil, uh, to put all the stuff on. But I don't really know for sure. I've never tried that. I've lived in New York State all my life, so I've never heard of funeral potatoes. And Grant doesn't like potatoes. Uh, Lynn says, love your channel. I have to start my day Saturday here. Stay safe. Oh, thank you, Lynn, for being here. Have an enjoyable day. Uh, Martha's never heard of them. So isn't that interesting? Like when you start going out and like seeing new things, I'd say for most people, like I already knew what they were, but if you just walked past, you'd be like, what's a funeral potato? And do why do I, why would I want to eat funeral potatoes? That sounds morbid, but they're actually delicious. So I don't know. Also, real quick, real quick, and then I'm going to take you guys outside. Can you guys hear me better on this live stream? Because I have to use these earbuds now because on this channel and on my other Noble Nomads channel, when I do live streams, everybody says that my volume is too low. Um, and apparently, since I'm using my iPad, for some reason, it's not gelling together. Um, so one of the tips was to use uh, air, earbuds or AirPods or whatever. Um, and using the mic on here instead of the mic on my iPad. So does it, I know it, you may not be able to have a comparison, but are you guys, is it a pretty good, solid, strong tone or is it still low? I only know of it being baked in the oven. Yes. Yes. Usually it is baked. You are very inspirational, and I'm going to build my own living band after watching it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love potatoes, too. Okay, so you guys can hear. Hey, Nelson. I'm doing great. How are you? Um, okay, so the sound is good, loud and clear. All right, bye, Lala's Lemon. Hopefully, your phone starts to cool down. Uh, and, yes, we are Snack Pack friends. Um, I just learned today about funeral potatoes. Awesome. Okay, the sound is good. Sorry, I made it 45 minutes late, but I came to say happy, happy Friday. We hear you well, and I'm in another side of the planet. Awesome. Loud and clear. Okay, cool. So this might be the move is to wear these AirPods. Strong tone. Okay, thank you, Kayla. Uh, have you have had, wait, have had them, enjoyed them. They are like Cracker Barrel cheesy hash browns. Yes, Kenneth, that's a good comparison um loud and clear loud and clear so good to see you tonight thank you so much nelson uh the tone is good you sound fine yes uh good for me i can hear you better than usual okay marianne that's good to know awesome okay all right so let's see talked about that let's do okay oh real quick real quick all right so I don't know how this news is going to be received, so buckle yourselves in. Okay, don't don't be scared. Um, so for those of you that have been following along for a while, we started out doing Snack Chat Saturday. We did Snack Chat Saturday for more than a year. I don't even know. I'm sure Grant knows because Grant's like the keeper of all the records. <laughs> but we did Snack Chat Saturday for a long time, and uh, oh, you know when people started getting out from lockout lockdown and all the stuff and people wanted to get out and explore on Saturday. So we moved it to Sundays. So we did snack, ch snack chat Sundays. But then I heard from a lot of people that Sundays are like a wind down day and they're trying to get ready for work or like, you know, just kind of get ready, blah, 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 all the things on Sunday that you got to do. And also Sundays is like a lower calm thing and it's not as like exciting. So now we moved the live stream to Friday nights. And Friday nights are cool and everything, but 
I just get the feeling that people are like getting out and about and like, you know, and, and I, like I made the video about, I think people should really get out and enjoy their life. And especially as it's getting hotter, people are going out for the summer. And so people are getting out on Friday nights. So what I'm thinking about doing, and I talked to, to Grant just like a few minutes before this live stream, just to like, just get a quick idea. But, and also I think I'm going to talk to Robbie tomorrow on the phone if he'll take my call. Anyways, because they're my two moderators. So what I'm thinking about doing, and don't don't freak out. It, don't freak out. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop doing the scheduled streams through the summer. So there won't be like a set time and day every week. Uh, you guys' opinion matters to me. So let me know how you feel about that. And let me tell you why. I'm thinking about just doing more live streams in general and just doing them when I'm in a stationary place there's lots of times where I'm like, even for today, I was sitting here for the like an hour and a half before the stream, just kind of like sitting here, like, okay, the stream is at six my time. So I have to kind of wait around and I could have gone live an hour and a half earlier, which could have been good for some people, but maybe not others, but I had scheduled this one. So I think, uh, the other thing is I want to start doing more live streams. Like you know, I don't know, don't hold me to this, but I'm thinking about doing lives like maybe three or four times a week. I don't know. Don't get crazy. I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm just telling you what's on my top of my head. Uh, because there's lots of times where I'm somewhere where I could show where I'm at and live stream. Um, and I think it'd be, you know, a lot better because I include a lot more people because some people can't make it on certain days. So, the only thing I'm thinking about getting rid of for the summer is just the actual scheduled like Friday night at this time. So I'm going to read the comments and I hope everyone's not freaking out, but cause I do enjoy them. Um, but I want to kind of branch out and try to do more of them and kind of try them on different times as well. So, okay, let me scroll back and see what everybody's saying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Something about potatoes where you have to put something else on them to, to <laughs> grant. Buckle up. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. To me, Sunday is a lazy day or family day. Love it on Friday nights. Uh, sad, but makes sense. Oh my gosh. I love the live streams. Uh, 73 is the best number. <laughs> yes. Uh, I do remember snack chat Saturday. You had a live stream on my birthday, which was on a Saturday one year recent. Yes. I like your 30 minute notices. Uh, yeah, if I do it, uh, then I would still probably put out a note. Like, you know, I probably still schedule it for at least 30 minutes to an hour ahead so that people can gather themselves to come on. Um, it won't like, there might be times where I literally just jump on, but I'd say most of the time I would probably know earlier in the day so I could you know, put a, a schedule on there. Um, Judy says, I think you have a good idea. The kid says, it's okay to surprise us. Heather says, more equals good. Uh, Bella says, like, Friday at 5 Pacific. Uh, Lori says, why more live streams? So for more live streams, because for several reasons. Um, number one, I think having them on different days and times allows more people to join in, like, because some people are in different countries. Some people are in different time zones. Uh, and I'm usually in different time zones. Uh, and also just, I think it just allows more opportunity to talk about where I'm at different places and show you guys where I'm at, um, different topics we could talk about. Um, and also with YouTube, YouTube is prioritizing live streams and shorts and more content. Uh, and I think it will just also help the, the channel as well. Um, Everybody in this whole everywhere has been hit by uh, the lockdown and even YouTube was hit. And so their ad revenue or whatever was down. So that means it's affected all of the creators. So we have to work a lot harder and put out more content um, to even make even a third of what we were making before, which that's not your problem. And I'm not talking about money or trying to bring it all up. I'm just telling you uh, like kind of what's been happening. And so to do more live streams is also beneficial for the channel as well. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm 
thinking. And I think it's just fun to come on with a snack pack and just, you know, have conversations. Um, Brandon says, as long as you notify us, it's okay with her. Uh, I'm fine with spontaneity. We can do more lives Mondays, maybe. Yeah, like I could even do different days of the week. Uh, v says, I love spontaneous live streams like your Noble Nomad live stream. Awesome. I like where you're going with the live stream idea. I love your lives. Yes, I'm okay with it. Hopefully the notifications would. Yeah, that. Oh, so that's why I said earlier uh, that make sure your notification bell is on because that's the only way that you're going to get notified like, oh, uh, Travel Snacks is either on or Travel Snacks is going to go on at like an hour or whatever. So make sure your bell is on and then you'll know. And that's the best way to do it. I think it's, I think that's a great to do lives when you want to and notice will be good. Yes. It doesn't matter to me because I'm on YouTube every day. Awesome, Judy. I'm fine with Fridays at seven. Um, I woke up in a car. Awesome, Alan. I probably, I'll probably, I'd probably be able to catch you with more live streams available. Yeah, that's true. Mountain Wanderer. I needed these chats. I'm grateful for you. Thank you so much, Deb G. Um, let's see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love the live streams. I would tell you to take a hot summer off, <laughs> but we don't want you to leave us. No, I actually enjoy the live streams. So I don't mind doing the live streams. It's just, I want to like mix it up a little bit. And, you know, sometimes it's just like better to just jump on. And I hear a lot of you are saying just at least notify. So what I'd probably do is post a community message like, hey, I'm going to go on live in an hour or two hours or later today. And then you will have no some notice for the most part. So I think that a good kind of like balance lives are cool i'm okay with it just please put a notification at least 30 minutes okay yeah I, I sh i'm sure it'll be at least 30 minutes notice i'm in whenever you're on more live randoms awesome more lives would be a lot nicer yes a 30 minute notification um thank you grant thank you yes if you'd like to donate to the snack fund i wouldn't be mad at that at all so feel free um, just wanted to say hi from Wisconsin. Awesome. Hope you're doing good. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for being here. Uh, awesome. Lives on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'll try. Um, yeah, and Kayla said I'm cool with that. All right, cool. All right, so that gives me a good reference. Um, if I do, so we're going to give it a try. I'm going to collectively give you guys a hug and say we're going to, we're in this together. We're going to give it a try and we're not going to do a scheduled stream. So I may or may not be on next Friday. I may just still pop on Friday, but I don't know yet. But I, I think I'm just gonna jump in, you know, when I can. And I think that's gonna be a lot better and more people can come on and we can bring our friends and have a party and eat snacks. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so I've talked for a long time. We're almost at an hour. Also real quick, real, real quick, we're almost at 50,000 snack pack subscribers. 50,000? This is a big number. I can't even wrap my brain around it. But uh, if you guys have friends that you think would like this type of thing, share it because the more the merrier. Um, I just got a Tammy. Tammy, come on, Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, be sending some some nice donations like to support this channel. I I want to know who you are, Tammy, because I feel I feel inadequate to say thank you so much on the live streams. And I don't know who you are because I'm like, I always want to like to say thank you in a bigger way. Just, but I don't, you know, I don't know how to message you, but thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. Tammy just sent $135 for the snack fund. And I just appreciate you very much, Tammy. You've just like shown so much love to the channel and I just appreciate you. You are a true blessing. So let me give you a big hallelujah because, you know, it is a big hallelujah. Oh, I got to turn my sound on. Thank you very much, Tammy. You are a sweet, sweet person. Uh, okay. Um, oh, my iPad is hot. Um, Bottom line, we will love whatever you whatever happens from Kenneth. Thank you, Kenneth. That's so sweet. Thank you, the kid. Uh, you guys are so sweet. So, so sweet. Definitely get out this summer as well. Also, uh, I want to make sure that you guys are getting out. And that's another thing. I don't want to hold you guys on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. Um, so definitely uh, make sure you're getting out as well. Um, 
Whoa. Robbie coming through with the $75. Come on now. Thank you so much, Robbie. I appreciate that. And hopefully we can get on that call tomorrow because I think it would be fun. Thank you, Robbie. That is very, very generous. I appreciate you so, so much. You're a blessing. And also I got a message from, I think this is from V. Uh, I don't know if I should say the real name. So I'll just say V. I think it's from V. Uh, $25 from Cash App. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I don't know if I should say your real name. So let me know. Um, I'm going to give you... Thank you so, so much for the donations. You guys are super awesome. Um, Hope says, hubby called, did I miss anything? We just were chopping it up. All right, so for those of you that wanna hang around, I know we're already at an hour, but for those that wanna hang out, I'm gonna take you guys outside because I said I was going to. Um, and we're just gonna take a, a quick walk. We won't do it very long because it's pretty windy and I, I do have three bars on my iPad, so hopefully we'll be connected pretty well. Um, Let's see, gotta put my shoes on, gotta grab my keys, gotta make sure I got everything. Um, so I don't, I forget the name of this, what the name of this place is, but whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, put my shoes on. Oh, why am I so shiny? Probably because I'm sweating. All right, let me, whoa, go out this front door. Um, okay, so let me go out and then I'll turn my camera around. I don't really have to lock my door because Adriana's next door. All right, so let me turn this camera around. Hold on. All right, so. Here's the little bike ramp. There's like, it goes for quite a while. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but there's like these little bike jumper things and those paths. And then over there is like a lake. So can you guys, is, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. I don't think I can zoom in. Hopefully you're seeing that. Hundred and fifteen in Palm Springs tomorrow. Ladybug, are you there? Because my parents live over there and it has been hot for them. All right, so that's not that's this is impressive, but but wait, there's more. Ah! So this is actually okay, so Adriana's let me know this is Beck Lake. In Cody, Wyoming. And we're just parked right there. Um, kind of up against the edge so that we can point our vehicles towards, like, where we can sit there and chat. But we can also, I can look out the front windshield to this beautiful lake. And you, you can see over there, just some teenagers and kids on the little Santa paddle boards. And you know, jumping off and stuff, but it's just really pretty. Sorry if it's super windy. Okay, I don't think you can see it down there. I'll walk just a little bit, but. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that little like wooden structure, but that's where you can sit. There's a bench there, and you can you can fish over here. I've seen people fishing. And you could just sit here all day for free. I think this place at 11 for parking. You can't park overnight here. And then down there, past the silver car, there's bathrooms. So, you know, so you can do that. And at the very corner over there, I don't know if you could see it. In the very corner, it's like a nature viewing area. 
So, and there's a little town over there of Cody. And it's just really beautiful here. Okay, so hold on a second. So we were just sitting here, just like chilling all day. And it was just so nice. We both like took a nap, each in our respective vehicles. And it was just so calm. And it's like, this is like one of the t first times for a while that I've felt so at peace. Uh, being on the road because you know I have a friend with me and it's like made such a difference and the weather's pretty nice and I'm just in a beautiful location and I've able I've been able to like film some videos that I really enjoy and edit quicker and I don't know it's just like it just felt good it just felt good I was just there with the breeze you know today and I was like this is the life man like you know it's not for everybody. I'm not even gonna lie because there's a lot of stress. Like, I don't want to say it like that. It's just like a lot. You got to think about a lot of things when you're on the road living this lifestyle. But there's these times where you just get somewhere and you just feel so calm and just so at peace. And that's why I, I like made that video the other day because I just want, I don't want people to get stuck in just feeling sad and depressed all the time like just sitting at home because there's just so much out here. And even if it's like, sometimes you have hard times or it could be stressful to travel or do whatever, it's worth it because you'll get certain times where you'll get to be in a place where you can just relax and you just have everything you need and you just feel happy. And so today's just been one of those days where I just felt grateful and including in, including that gratefulness is snack pack. And I just was thinking about how, you know, the channel started off so small and I didn't really like know what to expect. I just knew I wanted to share my journey and like help people if they wanted to live a lifestyle like this. And just over the years, it's just grown so much. And I've met some people along the way. I've, like a lot of you I haven't met, which I do want to meet, but just even online, the connections that I've made. And even some of you have made with each other, it just warms my heart up a lot. And it's just like, I feel like such a strong gratitude first to God. And then secondly, to just everybody that's been a part of my life, part of this journey. And I do want to think of something to do for like 50K. When we hit 50K as a collective, because it's not me on my own. I don't know what to do. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave comments or DM me or email me. Um. But yeah, I just want to share this with you today and just tell you guys that I love you. And I thank you guys so, so much because it's been really an amazing journey. And I know there's so much more to come and I want to share more with you guys. So I think the live streams would be a good way to do that. Um, I mean, look at these kids. They're just out here flying kites, you know, which is awesome. Let me wait till this car passes and I'll go back. And then I can read you guys' comments. And if you guys want, I do have a couple games. Uh, but if you guys are over it and you just want to be done, that's fine too. <laughs> I know Robbie usually likes to play the games. Hopefully you guys have some things planned. I do have a surprise uh, probably for next week uh, that I can't share it with you. But I'll make a video about it. Oh, let's see. I don't want to do here. Whoa. Oh, it's definitely hotter in here. How am I gonna set this back up? Oh, whoa! Ah. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, ba 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 ba. 
Um, okay. 102 degrees in the high desert. Oh, you're not far from Pump Springs? Oh, awesome. There's a lot of cool things in Pump Springs. Uh, Daya, we can't sleep here. I don't think it's allowed, but there's there's been other places where we found sleep. So it's it's been, this, Cody seems to be pretty open to nomads. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> So there hasn't been any trouble to find parking. Oh. Oh, lots of good comments about how beautiful it is. How pretty, beautiful. Uh, Mark says Wyoming is a beautiful country. Beautiful country. It is beautiful out here. Uh, Wyoming is awesome. So far, I've really loved like Nebraska and Wyoming. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, yes, peaceful. Hope says, Allison, you're getting a tan. Good for you. No girl time is great, especially when you are usually by yourself. Yes, exactly. Yes, you refresh as you refresh us. Oh, thank you, Kenneth. Allison, I will do this part time. I live through the experience of you and other. Transparent nomads. Oh, thank you so much. That is so so sweet. Just a few years ago, the channel was was we. Yes, it was. I mean, we've like come a long way. Thank you, the kid. I remember celebrating getting a thousand subscribers. I know. I remember that. I was like so just like jazzed up about a thousand, and I'm just grateful for every person. Um, yes, uh, Violet Van Vanille. Uh. I think I'm going to Yellowstone on Monday or Tuesday. We are family. We are family. I don't know if I'm going to get demonetized for that song. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, thank you, Hope. We love you as well. Don't make me cry. I know. Don't make me cry. Um, let's see. Um, yes, this is the best family. Beautiful view for 50K, maybe a Zoom or Discord party where everyone can see or hear each other. That would be cool. I don't know how I would set that up, but. I'll look into it. We love you too. And thank you for taking us on your adventures. Thank you, Daya. Uh, just getting on and telling us how you feel is okay. I'll be here to listen. Awesome. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you so, so much. Hashtag travel snacks. Yes. Snack pack. Yes. Um, it's always like, wait, it's always like we're all together right after making it to heaven. Yes. I love that. Um, Let's see. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Yes, Lori, it's safe here. It's like, it's super quiet and peaceful and safe here. So um, yeah, it's been really, really great. I highly recommend Cody, Wyoming, Thermopolis. Those two places have been a hit. All right. So I'm going to, with a show of thumbs ups and thumb down, thumbs downs, who wants to do the games? If you want to do, I do have two would you rather questions. So thumbs up if you would like to and thumbs down if you're ready to go. Um, and then after the games, you know, then we'll end it because I'm getting a little hungry. Um, but we had a pretty nice breakfast today. We went to a, a place called Granny's and it was just like a, a diner looking like a, you know, it's like what you think like a, like a, a small town Denny's type vibe. Uh, and it was pretty good. You know, I just got the, the scrambled eggs with cheese and hash browns. And then I got tortillas with it and just made my own little breakfast burritos. And that was pretty filling. Um, and we did our laundry today, so we didn't eat until like one o'clock. So I skipped breakfast. So I feel like I'm due for dinner, you know, soon. So I'm feeling like I need, I need something. I did have some carrots. That was my snack today. Not exciting. But, you know, just keep it real. Okay, so we got a lot of good thumbs ups. Um, if, you, if you have to go, then thank you for being here. I appreciate you greatly. Um, but it is always fun to play these games. So let's do it. All right, so I made these two would you rather questions off the top of my head. So they might be dumb. But I wanted to kind of stay in theme because I'm going to go to a rodeo this coming week. And I'm feeling like wild, wild westy. So the first one is, would you rather permanently have to wear a cowboy hat or permanently have to wear a fedora? 
if you guys if you guys know what a fedora is let's see let me pull up an image of a fedora i mean everybody knows what a cowboy hat is but a fedora just in case you don't know this is a fedora wait where's the it's like one of those like gangster old-timey gangster hats it's kind of like a cowboy hat but just like a different vibe it like goes down a little bit wait it goes like down more in the front so a fedora is more like it gives me like puerto rican vibes like if you're in puerto rico and you have that like you know festive vibe and a cowboy hat is like wow wow west like cactus and horses and spurs so which one would you rather permanently you can take it off to go to bed but i'm just saying like and you any time in public you'd have to wear this hat so let me see we're already coming through with some of these quick answers kiss my grits yes dinner time okay so susan and v says fedora kayla's going with cowboy hat. kayla and brenda's cowboy hat hope is going fedora so is Lori and miles to go um yes martha yes adriana's gonna go too um daya is going with that cowboy hat heather is going with fedora uh rebecca and mountain wanderers both going with cowboy hat angela how are you uh, angela says i have a melon head neither would look great but i vote cowboy hat uh, adriana says cowboy hat goes with everything and even including jeans so she's going with cowboy hat and uh v says they're both stylish hats i mean that's true Sandra says, I love hats, so either for me, I like them both. Tammy says, cowboy hat. Kenneth says, easy, cowboy hat. Marianne says, yeehaw, cowboy hat. And uh, Adriana says, I have a water, I have a watermelon head. Um, Grant's going with fedora. Okay, I live in Alberta and see plenty of cowboy hats. Plus, back in the day, I used to rock a fedora. Okay, get it, Grant. Uh, I am in Texas, but never got into the cowboy hats. Now, on others, they look great, but not on me. Lori says, I've lived near Nashville for most of my life and cowboy hats are kind of silly for every day. I feel it, I feel it. Um, what do you guys think I'm gonna say? Do you think I'm gonna rock the cowboy hat or a fedora? Which one do you think? It's a, it's, it's a toss up for me because I, you know, like Adriana said, a cowboy hat can go with all the jeans and all these things, but also, the fedora is like a different look it's like like a fiesta look or you know i don't know what's the vibe but it's different um daya says cowboy hat and it says fedora hope says for me fedora uh i'm in oklahoma horses all around Rick Kenneth. Uh, uh rebecca says fedora uh, Kayla says cowboy hat and Lori says you cowboy hat because you you're wanting to sit on a bull uh bye bye Ozzy Brame I don't know who's Ozzy Brame JJ says fedora and Brenda says uh cowboy hat and Beverly says fedora for me and V says I will I say you will go with a fedora and Martha says fedora lol um I would go with a fedora 100% because it has a little bit of a cowboy hat vibe, but not as big. And I, oh, I wish I would have prepared this. I didn't think ahead, but I had a, I had a, well, I can't really call him a boyfriend. He was like someone I dated for a hot minute, several years, like a lot of years back now that it's been a long, long time. And he, um, he, always wore a fedora not always but he wore a fedora and he looked so good in it and like he had to he was in the military so he had to leave and so he left me with the fedora and so i used to rock that thing and i thought i looked so cute with that fedora on and i did look cute and i have pictures so maybe i'll like wrestle one up one day and show you guys me with the fedora um and i felt good in that and with a cowboy hat i'm from the desert so it's kind of like eh, i i kind of get sick of it sometimes because i you know when you're from a place you might get sick of it sometimes so i don't know that i'd want to wear a cowboy hat all the time and i think you could still wear a fedora with jeans you know so i'm going with a fedora i think that's going to be a better look for me so fedora buddies <laughs> me and grant 
Um, let's see. Sandra said fedora, and uh, Jay said, JJ said, no, if you have nice boots, a cowboy hat. I mean, that's true. If you got nice boots, you really do need that. Hope says, yay, I got it. Ken said, my last horse's name was Blessed, Blessed Friend. Oh, my gosh, that's so sweet. Your vibey head movement needs the fedora. That's true. That's true. Uh oh, the past comes out. Oh, I got all kinds of stories, but I don't know. Like some of these, I, I don't know about my share. But I think if you guys are on the Noble Nomads channel, you're probably going to get more of the uh, old school Allison, if I'm going to be honest, because we talk pretty more openly on that channel. So if you want to hear more of those types of stories, you might want to subscribe to the Noble Nomads channel. Um, and eventually we might do a, a Patreon where we'll put some more, more like, uh, private stories behind a Patreon paywall because, you know, you don't want everybody in the world to be knowing all your past stories, but that was a little side note. Um, oh, MJ miss him. Yes, exactly. Oh, got to see this picture. Yes. <laughs> M Jackson wore fedora. Yes. Permanently cowboy says Rose. As a young model, I had to wear those and and a smile. Oh, awesome. Jeans and a fedora, gotta be a California thing. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know about the fedora and the and the jeans. Um, we all have a past. I mean, that's factuals. Uh, can, uh, maybe Grant or Robbie can link the other channel for the Noble Nomads. Okay, um, so here's the last question. I probably should have started with this one because this one's not as fun. <laughs> uh, bye, Heather, thank you so much. Oh, JJ, my past is Jerry Springer worthy. Okay, there you go. Now, JJ SW, you got a channel? You better link it up there too. Okay, um, so um, this next one is also Wild Wild West E. So this one is a little more dangerous, but I thought that we would go with, would you rather be in a rodeo with a bull with the ole or whatever, the red flag. I don't even know that's a real thing, but pretend this is like a, a bull that you could get injured. We're not going to have any deaths on this hypothetical, but you could get injured on this one. So you can either ole with the bull in the ring or do like hike on one of these rock climbing mountains, like, you know, the high mountains where you have to like, you know, have the pulleys and the like finger grips and stuff like that. So either way, you're probably going to get injured unless you're skilled at it. So would you rather be in the rodeo with the bull, bull fighting, or would you rather rock climb? Both are dangerous, but it's kind of wild, wild west. And you got to be a tough cowboy or cowgirl. So what would you rather, what do you guys think? B says, I love the Noble Nomads too. Travel Snacks was my first subscription on YouTube. My heart is here. Oh, thank you so much, V. That is so, so sweet. <clears throat> oh, thank you, uh, Grant, for posting the link to the channel. Bullfights are real. Okay. Yeah, I know that they're, they're real, but I was always wondering about the red flag. Like, is that like a real thing? Like, they get like mad about the flag? Oh, okay. H HDJ says they are. Okay, so Angela's going straight in with the bull. So is Robbie. Uh, Kayla says the bull. B is going with the bull, and Mystical Turkey's going with rock climbing. Uh, is this some kind of Spanish, Adriana Torrier? Torrier? I don't know if that. Hope says good grief. <laughs> Brenda says I would do the bull. Uh, I'd rather bull fights. I'm afraid of heights. Mountain Wander is going with rock climbing. Rebecca is going with bull fighting, and so is Daya, Sandra. And then Miles to go is going with climbing. No animal will be will get her except for maybe me. And then Marianne and Grant and uh, Marianne and Grant's going with bull. And Grant says they have a fear of heights, so that's easy. Mystical Turkey says bull climbing. I mean, hey, if you got skills to like jump on that bull, uh, that's that's the ultimate. Lori's going with rock climb with the safety rope. Um, maybe meet Tom Cruise. <laughs> uh, Beverly's says blue fighting, but probably bullfighting. Hopefully the, the clowns will save you. Um, uh, it's a red cape. Okay. Uh, does Okay. So does that like infuriate the bull? 
no, the, the bulls are colorblind. They go for the oh, the movement of the cape. That's what I thought. I heard something. I was like, I didn't think it was about the red, um, but yeah. So they're like, and then they're just like, and then they just charge through. Bulls are scary big. I would rock climb. Says JJ. The cape is red, but they go for the movement. Okay, awesome. Torir is what you're talking about. The bull. Oh, I did not know. I'm I'm out of the loop. Um. So what do you guys think? Do you think I'm gonna go with the bull, or rock climb? Which one do you guys think? Um, bullfighting isn't actually part of a rodeo. Oh, I didn't know. Well, but pretend it is. Pretend pretend it's like a cartoon. <laughs> Oh, bullfighting. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not bullfighting. What is it called? Bull? I don't know what it's called. Bull? Bull running? It's not running with the bulls. That's a whole separate thing. You ride a bull in a rodeo. So where do they do the, like, the, um, ole? Where do they do it? Or is it called torir? I don't even know. I'm so confused now. I'm not into this bull situation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the things about bulls. Um, I think you will rock climb. Uh, Robbie says rock climb in uh, West North Carolina. And they hurt them with spikes. So they get angry and said, no, I don't want them to hurt the bulls. Kayla says bull for me. Bull fighting for you. Bull dancing. Is that, I mean, yeah, never know. Pass or no pass at this point. If I do either, there won't be any more pass. I've been in rodeos and climbed mountains in my past no more oh dang bronco riding oh i bet you that's hard that bronco is bucking uh bullfighting is more for spain oh okay i think you're right now that i'm picturing this whole thing with because they have the little the little black outfit with the like buttons you know and they have you know the whole like attire and their little tight pants so yeah i think you're right okay so i i, I messed up on this this one but we can still go with it marianne says i'm gonna go with bull beverly says bull uh hdj says spain that's spain um hope says bull i suppose oh yeah okay adriana is confirming spain um the whole ole with bulls of spain okay so all right well we could just pretend we're in spain then which i've never been to leave the bull alone hey michelle how are you thank you so much You'll climb a mountain for the view. Ooh, that's awesome. Bullfighting is very bloody. Oh, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want anyone hurting all these animals. Would love if you rock climb and share your experience. Oh, man. The matador is a... Oh, the matador. That's what I'm thinking about. I had it all confused. So is it? do they ride the bulls in the rodeo? Is that what the situation? Is that like why they have the bucking bull... Like bucking bulls like at bars sometimes where you're just like, you know, falling off and stuff. Yeah. Now it's all coming clear. Torero and they look. Torio. It, let's see. Tor, uh, Torio is almost forbidden now because of the cruelty. Oh. Um, he would be left out of a rodeo. Oh, dang. No hurting of bulls here. Good. They stab it with swords. No, don't, don't, don't stab the bull. That's rude. I don't want that. That's, that's not going to be in my ole or any spain that i will go to i'm not gonna watch that i banned that in my mind the point is that the bull had to end up dead no, no i don't want that yes they ride the bull and try to stay on the longest okay so two different things okay well anywhere in this scenario no bulls are getting killed or stabbed that is upsetting to me i have been to a bar but i've never ridden the bull so that may be in a future situation, but so far, no. Um, okay, so in this scenario, if we're going to be like Olaying with Spain, then I'm going to go with that one because I'm with a lot of you. I don't mind heights like super much, but I don't know that I'd really be wanting to like climb a tall mountain, even with the pulleys and stuff. I'm not saying that I would never do it, but my heart just feels a little tingly right now just thinking about it like oh like just being up so high and especially if you look down and you're like oh that seems real bad now the other i'm gonna still say bull olaying i don't know what it's called but also i'm not fast 
so if I need to be like a fast runner, I'm probably going to get injured and go into the hospital, but then I'll get free food. So I guess it'll work out as long as I don't get life threatening injuries. But I definitely don't want to climb a mountain. I don't, I don't really want to do that. So definitely. Okay. Mountain. If I fall, at least it's easy to get to the bottom. Yeah, they kill the bull. That's the sport. 150 pound man against an animal that can use him as a rag doll. That's not right. I think there's a bar with an electric bull and Cody. Okay, I might have to check that out. It's an incredible feat of skill for the mountain climbing or the rock climbing. Yes, it really is. Uh, running with the bulls in Pamplona. Yes, I've seen that. I don't think I would even do that because that seems dangerous and I'm not that fast. Then there is running of the bulls in Spain. Yes, that's that's a whole different situation. And I'm not I'm not fast enough for that. Oh, you know what, Ferdinand? Yes, I've seen that movie. That's a cute movie. Bull riding and is that breaking the horse is hard on the spine. Oh. Ragdoll, so true, so true. Well, now you guys know that I don't really know much about the Wild Wild West or Spain. <laughs> but we still had a fun time. Um, so I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, and like I mentioned before, we're not going to do a scheduled live stream, uh, for the next, we'll, we'll give it a try. I don't even want to put a date on it, but, um, you know, for the next, like for foreseeable future, but make sure you have your notification bell on. And that's the way you're going to know when I start to do more of these live streams. And they'll be impromptu. Some of them will just be where I'm going to turn the camera on and you guys can experience van life with me. Sometimes I'll just talk like this. Uh, sometimes they may be shorter. Sometimes they may be longer. Um, so it'll just be more of a surprise. And I think that'll be a little more spontaneous through the summer. And it'll just be a happy time. So I'll think about what, uh, what we'll do on our 50K situation. But if, like I said, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about all that's coming up in the future. Um, Michelle says, oh no, I just woke up and got here. Um, stay safe. Everyone says Tammy. Um, mechanical bulls are hilariously fun. I'm going to have to try that. Uh, let's see. The, uh, Michelle says, I hope you do. They have nothing else to do. Uh, go eat dinner. See you on the next live stream. Surprise snacks. Yes, yeah, surprise snacks. That's a good one. Hey, Robbie, you already did a donation. But I'll give you another shout out because I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Robbie. And hopefully we'll get on our phone call tomorrow. Thank you, Marianne, for the love and Kayla for the love. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, so, so much. I love you guys. Snack Pack, you are so awesome. I will see you guys soon, soon, soon. Um, and I will have a surprise coming probably uh, in the first part of this coming week. And I think you guys are going to be happy about it. So I love you guys. Have a great week. Stay blessed. Stay praying for each other. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.